Believe it or not, knowing this can help us explain why a negative times a negative equals a positive. Here's how. So we have any number times zero equals zero. Let's do a specific case first. Let's have a be negative three. Then let's rewrite zero as some zero pair. For example, like negative four plus four. Then let's distribute negative three to negative four and four. Now pretend we don't know what a negative times a negative is, but we can convince ourselves what a negative times a positive is. If we switch this around, I can think of this as four groups of negative three, and I can convince myself that negative three plus negative three plus negative three plus negative three equals negative 12. So we have something plus negative 12 equals zero. So what does that force this to be? Well, positive 12. That's the only number that works here. Positive 12 plus negative 12 equals zero. So we see that negative three times negative four has to equal positive 12. And by the way, we can generalize this to see that negative x times negative y equals x times y. So there you have it. The zero property of multiplication may seem a little basic, but it helps us answer one of the most common questions in math class of why a negative times a negative equals a positive.